Yes, people, in this video, I'm going to teach you how to play as a fullback in non-league. Let's go. Before we get into this video, we need to give a moment of silence for every fullback that is currently playing non-league football right now. Yeah, that silence is real. Yeah, it's real. If anybody has played a good level of non-league football as a fullback, you know that your lungs are not something to play with. And that's just going to be the first thing I'm going to talk about today is the physicality of playing as a modern day fullback at non-league. You're basically a wide receiver in the NFL mixed with Mofara a long distance runner you have to have the engine to go up and down the line and you need to have the, the engine to be able to get back and recover it's not a joke and i think because now uh with with a lot of the wingers now being able to tuck in inside the managers are now expecting you as a fullback to take out take on sorry the option of or providing width on the, on, on the outside and because the build-up play is so quick, and you can see the levels. I remember one player who went down to Dallas Hamlet uh, a few years ago, and uh, he didn't get in because of the fact that he just didn't have an engine. Technical, he was an international footballer, um, and he couldn't get in because of the engine was lacking. And he was like, oh, just coming back and making excuses. But he couldn't get in because it's the engine was lacking. And uh, it's even more demanding at the Conference South level but even much so, so at the non-league level. So the next thing you must have also is the ability to do deep crosses. So I'm gonna show you using a diagram, the sort of deep crosses and where should you be deciding from. Yeah, so typically the deep crosses should be around this zone here. This is the penetration zone. So. If you as a fullback is receiving a ball, let's say out here, and you have your striker, your 10, um, you know, obviously your eight, everybody's kind of pushed up like they should be. Um, hold on, let me just sort it out. And your winger, and these guys are here like this. This is the opportunity for you from in this zone to be able to know how to, to be able to do a first time uh, deep cross into the box. This is standard. I know some guys will probably see this and go back home and certain managers don't want you to do that. They need, they want you to penetrate and get the back, uh, back four always looking back over their shoulders. So that's the first one. The second one you'll be able to do is then the second, take a, the ball comes out, take one touch, uh, defender comes out, you need to be able to get the ball out of your feet first time, pushing it down the line and a whip. You need to be able to do a whip crosses, cutbacks, driven crosses. So four types of crosses you need to be able to do as a fullback to play successfully in non-league. Um, <clears throat> the next one as well is the overlap situation. So if you receive the ball, if you're here in this situation here, you need to make sure your winger is in a half space zone, which is obviously right here. He should be in that zone here. So if uh, the, the opportunity is here for you to do a give and go, take opportunity on. And sometimes even if you make that run, it's not for you. It's just a case of dragging out the opposition defenders. Um, if you want to go inverted, then you need to make sure that your winger is on a touch line. And then obviously you can run inside. In this situation, you have opportunities probably to go inside the, again, attack in a half space zone and go for a shot or go inside your left foot. If you can bang it, try and shoot it on your left foot as well. And the last one uh, briefly we want to discuss as well is the 1v1 ability. I think this is probably one of the key factors when it comes to being able to successfully play at non-league level is the ability to defend 1v1. If we struggle to defend 1v1, the likelihood of you being even playing is going to be probably slim. So I like to name these three areas where you need to be able to contain, uh, press and you know be tight. So if you lose the ball in this segment here um, in this zone here let's say this guy number one wins the ball back from yourself and you are in this situation you are number two here you want to 
be very, very, very aggressive on him to try and win the ball back. Um, if you can get a foul, get a foul, professional foul to slow the game down. But obviously, you want to try and win the ball back. In this segment right here in the middle is where I like to call. Uh, hold on. This segment right here is where I like to contain. Okay. So this is where the jockeying and you reading the fullback again. Everybody plays stuff on YouTube today. So you should be able to know how to study certain four wingers, sorry. Uh, obviously they're playing that step. I don't know what, I think uh, from Combined County, they start recording games. If, if they've got their wingers playing every week, you can see their tendencies. So I like to read and do two dribbles, then I tackle. So if a guy dribbles the ball and goes, two touches dribble dribble usually on the third one that i would do an entry skill and exit skill you've got to know what sort of winger you've got in this segment here you've got to know how to jockey i prefer to show him line because I'm, if i've got the pace i'd rather do that than to show him inside so you need to work on your body position 1v1 so in this situation here is contain and two obviously your full backs and your center and your def wing uh center midfielders can come back and, su and support you the final zone here is where you're gonna get nice and touch tight. So let's say uh, the ball gets played out to them and you guys are defended like back here, like so. All right, so you guys are defending and the ball gets played out here in, in this place here. In this particular moment here, you've got to be watchful for this guy running in on your blind side into the half space. You need to talk to your centre mid to ensure he comes across and sits here or your center back comes across and get your dm to drop inside i've seen bare fullbacks today getting blitz ha handing out highlight reels to midfielders because they're not checking the shoulder and they're not communicating with their the center back to say yo watch my blind side because this guy will run in like this looking like he's going to come to feet and then he grows into the blind spots and then you're in trouble so you need to be able to communicate effectively with your center back. So let me know what you guys think about this video. Any other positions, obviously you've got center back to left and goalkeepers, I'll probably do next and let's go.